Hey, I'm Alton and I'm coming back right now. It's 9.30 at night. I wanted to bring you this because I have on the automatic high beam assist. So I'm going to turn you around before another car actually comes. Going through the neighborhood, just in case you were wondering, this is exactly what your dash looks like at night. Now there's your navigation, but it's actually in black. In night mode, I guess you could say. And I'm going to focus you on the road because if I flick, that's my high beams. Now, that's my low beam. Gonna twist the knob, there's high beam. So I'm in high right now. Now keep in mind it's automatic. So as soon as a car starts to come up on me, it's automatically gonna dim the lights. There's the high beams. There again, it's automatic. We're just gonna continue to drive. I'm not gonna talk you to death this time. So we're going through a neighborhood. You could tell there was lights along the street whatsoever, but not enough. So it wants to keep the focus on the road. So it's gonna turn on your high beams and no oncoming traffic, which is very good. Quiet neighborhood, low traffic. And we're gonna pick up a little traffic as we come along. We have the street lights, high beam still on. So we're coming up on someone in front of us here. Let's see what the high beams does. I have no idea what it's going to do here. Clueless. I don't know if that shifted or not. Okay, so I have low beams. So it actually did shift. No more high beams, so I'm not blinding traffic coming along in front of me. My thought here is, is that it's recognizing the lights, such as red, green, yellow. So I'm gonna pull through, let's see if it actually adjusts. There it is. So it did make the adjustment. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but there was one car coming in the opposite direction. So it's back down again. It's picking up the night lights along the street. And coming up to oncoming traffic. It's so smooth in the transition going from high beam to low beam. I mean, I, I really don't recognize it. But I can definitely tell when the high beams jump back on. How do you know you're in high beam? When you focus in here, you can actually see right up top here. See my finger? There's your high beam. And of course you're using the side lever, which you cannot see because it's too dark. It's off to the left side of the steering wheel. And I'm just gonna twist the tip of it. High beam off. Keep your eyes right here. High beam on. So high beam on once again. Now I could tell where it shifted there. So we're just gonna run with it and just see what happens. Now it's definitely not on because there's too much traffic, people coming the opposite way. It can pick all that up. Night lights shining down, so you have low beam. So I don't know how helpful that was. That transition from high beam to low beam is so smooth. I, I, I couldn't tell you when it was on or off, but I can definitely tell you it's off right now. Uh, very nice job, Volvo has actually done with that. Uh, not only will you have it on Volvo, you have it on a couple of your other models as well. So once again, as always, subscribe to my channel. How else, as I always say, are you gonna learn how to control your vehicle? 